So if you haven't already, then you'll need to download Visual Studio Code, and you can do that by heading to code.visualstudio.com and downloading the appropriate installation for your operating system. Next, we'll need to head over to php.net, go over to downloads, and select the appropriate installation for our operating system as well. Since I'm on Windows, I'll download that and download the zip. Once your download is finished, go ahead and head over to your downloads folder, right click on it, press extract all, Click Browse, and I'm going to install mine on the desktop in a new folder called PHP. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that and press Extract All. Now once that is done, scroll down until you come here to PHP. Go ahead and click on it, and then right click, go to Properties. And then where it says Location, go ahead and copy that, because we will need that for later. All right, now go ahead and open up your environmental variables and you can do that by just starting to type environment. And this is where we're going to edit our system path, which is going to allow us to access PHP anywhere on our computer. If we click edit, I'm just going to go and replace this one here. Notice it's the file path to the PHP executable, but we're not including the .exe. So go ahead and click OK, and then we can go ahead and open up VS Code. Now we'll head over to extensions and download a few. Go ahead and just search up PHP. And the first one we're going to download is PHP IntelliSense, which is basically just going to have auto completion and make programming in PHP a lot easier. Another one I would recommend is PHP Server, a lot like a live server, but for PHP. And once you download it, go ahead and click on the settings here and go to extension settings. Here, you'll use the file path that we copied earlier, except here, you'll have to include the PHP executable. But once you've done that, everything is set up. You can actually make a index.php file, and when you press serve project, you'll actually have a server started up that will host your PHP files. Links to all the resources will be down in the description below, and see you in the next video.